thank you for coming to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a grass crown out of a recycled uh, paper grocery bag that you can get at the grocery store. So what you need to do is just kind of open it up. You want to cut out this part here. Um, so I have already done so on the other side. So what we're doing is we're going to combine the two of these strips together to make our crown. So you just kind of want to cut your strips. You want to make them pretty well about the same. I mean, we're going to trim these off, but we can still trim them down a little bit at the beginning. So again, just to show you where I cut this out from, I cut this part, just cut down the side here, cut this part here, and then I cut it right down the middle and then trimmed it down. So what we're going to do is we have to tape these together so it makes a crown. Otherwise, it won't be long enough. So right in here, I'm going to take some tape. And I'm just going to, and, and any tape will do. You probably want something a little bit stronger. So probably something that's um, not scotch tape, but maybe like duct tape or uh, masking tape here. You really want to get this reinforced because we are going to cut down, you know, in here. So you want to make sure the one we do, we're, we're going to try to avoid this little crease here, but we just want to make sure that we're reinforcing this for right now. Okay. So then you get to turn it over and I'm going to cut off this excess here. That's popped up. All right. So now in order to make our grass crown, we need to color this the color of grass. Um, grass and springtime. Um, so you're going to take some green, yellow uh, markers. You can even draw some little flowers. So you want to draw or color this in first before you start cutting. So you, you don't need to go all the way up to the top, but you do want to start from the bottom here and get a good color on it. So, and it doesn't have to be, I mean, this is going to be grass, so it doesn't have to be all the way colored in or perfect. I even like to use a combination of markers and um, crayons because it adds a little bit of a kind of added depth to it. See, this crayon is a little bit lighter, so you can kind of see it up here. And then there's a darker crayon. And you can add some other accessories in there too. Um, like I said, you can do little, little flowers and we can put like bugs, um, anything that you really want to put on here. This is your little crown. So things that remind you of Earth Day, Earth, um, nature, things like that. So go ahead and just color all that and again it's okay if you leave a little bit at top here because we're actually we are going to be cutting this this way so once you've got all of this you know make sure you go all the way down this is going to be a whole crown but i'm just going to show you here a little bit on this part so once you have colored all the way down to the other end then you're going to take your scissors and all we're going to do is cut some strips so we're just going to cut and we don't want to cut them too thin and we don't want to cut them too long. You want to go maybe a little bit more than halfway, maybe not even halfway. So it will cut into your picture, but that's okay because that's just kind of part of what we're doing here. Because it'll all look nice together. So this is kind of, kind of our grass. And this is a good practice for little ones with scissors. Okay, continue that all the way down. Remember, don't want to go all the way down. You want to go halfway, maybe a little bit more. Or maybe not even all the way. You can just come, come right here too. It's kind of up to you and how you want to do it. So then what we need to do then um, before we fold it into a crown is we want to try to curl these over a little bit. So it's easier to take a marker. You can take a, take a little crayon or a pencil or a pen, but marker is going to be a little bit easier, for, especially for little kids. So I like to actually take a bunch of these at the same time and kind of roll them down like this. 
You want to roll them over so you get kind of a little fringe here that's rolled. So again, you want to repeat this over here. You roll it down. It takes a little bit of practice to do this part, but it, it's still fun. There we go. So we have parts, you can even do it by hand, just kind of, you don't want to fold it, but you want to roll it. Okay, I'm gonna get it crunched because this, this is our, our grass part. So once you have that all, all done, cut and colored all the way down to the, to the bottom here, then we're going to put this on your child's head and do some measurements here. So you want to measure where you know where their head is and where they where it needs to be cut so you can either do one of two things once you have it measured and you do this to put on their head you can um you can either staple it down the middle here or you can just take some tape and roll it up and then just tape it on itself again so just for just to show you here, I'm gonna take some tape and tape it here. I didn't do mine all the way down, but just I was just showing you how to kind of do it. So you can tape it and then tape it on the outside and then you'll have a little crown. So you can tape it or staple it either way. And then you have a little grass crown that you can wear for Earth Day.